we're going to go through the different sensors, putting the sensors on, learning how to apply them. These are some real basic things that, you know, if you get to it, that even if you do a five-day course, you get through the end of that course, if you don't know how to do these basic things, you can't start using it, which is the most important thing. So we want to make sure that you, uh, you get a chance to do that and that you get hooked up and learn what it feels like to do uh, EMG biofeedback or temperature biofeedback and so on. Um, it's even part of the certification requirement that you do uh, 10 personal sessions um, so that you're learning how to increase your hand temperature and so on uh, before you start you know, telling the patients that you know, you've got to increase your hand temperature to 94 degrees. If you've never done it yourself, it's kind of not fair. <laughs> you know, so, uh, so that's part of it too. And also, uh, we're, we're going to uh, make sure that you uh, can tell the difference between a artifact, which is a signal that is not what we're trying to record, and a, a real uh, normal signal. Um, it can be a real disaster to be doing biofeedback with someone and have a erroneous reading and have the person training based on that. Because either they figure out that you don't know what you're doing and um, they're sitting there wasting their time or whatever, or they can't understand why they're not getting anything from it because what they're looking at is not real. You know, um, if your muscle tension, uh, if, if we have a, a, a instrument measuring your muscle tension and let's say, for instance, it's on my shoulder uh, or on my upper back and I use that muscle and nothing happens on the screen, now I'm not believing that this is really doing anything. You know, I, if I see that it's, it, it doesn't matter what I do and the signal stays the same, I'm going to say, you know, maybe this is just you know, a bunch of crap but they just have me here wasting my time. So, so that's, that's a really important uh, point.